all right guys welcome to another episode today is another after work fishing trip i'm here at the spillway chasing i'm still chasing that world record spotted gar i thought i had it last time and i never got to tell the story from a couple videos ago but someone beat it back in february just six months ago so it wasn't in the books yet and that's why i thought i had it it was originally 34.5 inches well i got a 37 so i went home i put that thing on ice in the cooler thought i had a which also would have been a world record by the way for pulling line for spotted gar sat there and thought i had it all night and half that next day until i could contact a conservation agent only to find out i had been beat six months ago in february and that guy's was 39 inches so he has me beat by two inches so now i have to get a 39 and it could possibly weigh more or get a 40 and just hope that it for sure weighs more i would say for 40. uh yeah so that's the story on that very sad that was one sad day thinking i had a world record fish and i would have six months ago i would have had it and wilma threw one back two years ago that was 36 and that was before we knew you know there's three four kinds of gar around here and i shrugged it off as oh they get way bigger than that and didn't really think about it and didn't research it till we got halfway home when i was reading about it and that's when i discovered that she had had a state record now hers would not have been a world record though but mine would have been so i'm very it's very very sad day that whole situation was very sad anyway i'm gonna keep never give up and i'm gonna keep trying for that world record short nose gar and hopefully i'll get a, a couple nice buffalo while i'm fishing for them let's see what happens spillway is very low and very swift Pounds are bigger. Oh my God. It's a big one. All right, guys, first fish. Fair hook, big mouth. Yeah, I'd bring it. Dip net. I'm gonna fish up here, I guess. I didn't get nothing down there. They're all up here. You just gotta be way more careful. I just don't reel in my crankbait hardly at all. Barely. No, he's about six. Bring my backpack. Hey, bring my backpack and my other pole. I'm just gonna fish up here for a little bit. Ooh, only one hook. No, there's two in there. Okay, I'm safe until she gets here with a dip net. Now he's got three because he's got one in the gill. Well, to figure him out, he's about eight or nine pounds actually. Okay. Big mouth buffalo on a white crankbait deep diver, eight to 12 foot. Not bad. Okay. Right, let me get him in. Put nicely, not to throw. Not the Large mouth. Little 
large mouth. <sighs> oh, he came off right when I grabbed it. About a 11 inch large mouth. Nothing to brag about, but it is a fish. As soon as it hit the water. All right, guys, I just hooked into a four pound large mouth on a four inch white storm Largo shad, half ounce jig head, 17 pound line wow what a fish oh my god four pound largemouth maybe even five he's pushing five no he's four. Oh, and he's barely hooked man i need oh man Wow! Wow! Second cast on this lure. Guys, that is one hell of a large mouth and one hell of an awesome bait. I'm telling you. Love these Largo shads. Each year I switch my favorite lure as time goes on. There's a few that I still buy Over and over every year, but this year. Yeah, he's five pounds this year. The storm Largo shad is just killer man I'm telling you It is one hell of a bait I gotta unwrap this line and Push my button here Wow, just look at that boss. What a bass. Easily five pounds. This swim bait, they cannot resist it. This is the first time I've tried the bigger ones. I always buy the three inch. I upgraded to a four inch. Can you come film me so I know I get a good video? Can you come here? Please? That lure could have easily came off. What a beast, man. Get it where it takes up the whole screen, but don't cut any of the tail off. Showing the lure everything. Do one like this. Okay. All right. Guys, here's the lure. Storm Largo Shad, four inch white. Killer. Look at that jig head. It fits perfectly in there. How it's got the slot. Wow. Second cast on this thing. Look at that. Can I bring that? Nah, you don't want to. No, that's a, oh, no, 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 no. All right, guys, I'm going to see if I can get another one. I knew that didn't feel like a buffalo or a gar, and I thought, honestly, I just thought I had a big white bass at first or a drum. Wow. Small, short nose. Oh, I can pick him up.
All right, guys, short nose gar, about 24 inches. They did not bite like I thought they would today. The only thing that saved me was that largemouth bass, to be honest. That was the only thing worth catching. The buffalo was all right, but it wasn't nothing special. And this definitely ain't nothing special. I don't even like short nose. They're kind of a pain. They're usually a nuisance when they are anything. Hard to hold, hard to handle. About 24 inch short nose gar on that white crankbait again. Let's see if I can get him off without the wires. I doubt it, but maybe. All right, guys, Wilma caught this common carp right at dark. Move your hand, take your hand off of his. He's about a five or six pounder. I got that 48 inch long nose when you couldn't see anymore. We don't know if it showed up. It definitely didn't on video. She had to take a picture of me with a flash. Um, this is a nice common carp. She got it on a bobber and worm of all things. All right, guys. Until next time, hit that like button. I'm gonna take a picture of it.